Hi everyone. Just because I made this video doesn't mean I'm going to make any random video about anything out there. My whole reason behind this is to make this particular concept crisp and clear to you as I myself struggled to learn this once upon a time. Time is important and we don't have that luxury. Therefore I'll make these videos as short as possible. That's a promise. With no further ado, today we are going to learn about slicing in Python. And no, this slicing has nothing to do with the action game Fruit Slice, where players split fruit which avoids bombs. Okay, so let's create an example. Let's create a variable x and we will assign a list to it. A list is nothing but a uh, square box. There you go, we have a list. So the list is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. All right there you go we have a list so if we print x that's it whatever that is there inside the list box that appears so first thing first learn this in python the position of the first number is 0 and not 1 okay i'm saying about the position of this list okay so you must be reading it as 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 but python reads it as 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay just remember this it is very important so suppose we want numbers from 11 12 13 14 okay we want 11 12 13 and 14 these four digits four numbers we want so we write it as x square box okay and 0 as I said the first number first place for Python is always 0 and then we want 4 so 0 1 2 3 4 okay there you go okay now you must be wondering why I did not write 3 and instead I write I wrote 4 so I'm, I'm just gonna print out the other factor as well 0 is to 3 so if we had mentioned 0 colon 3 it would be 11 12 13 as I said 0 1 2 and 3 all right so um, we wanted these four right therefore we had to place one more than so this is what is uh, the meaning behind it okay and now suppose we want numbers from 11 to 17 okay so now we want numbers from 11 to 17 that is the entire set so there are three ways of doing it okay I'm going to tell you the first one x square bracket the first place that is again okay, 0 colon and empty after that will not enter any number okay so automatically python picks it as whatever the last digit uh, sorry the last number is available in that list okay enter there you go 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 it printed out the entire list there's another second there's a second way of doing it that is just a colon okay again by default python will take take this side as whatever the starting number is and this one just like the previous one whatever the end number is enter there you go and the third way of doing this is zero and just count it out zero one two three four five six so there are six positions and as i said we have to enter one more than so we'll write it as 7 there you go okay so remember these three ways now we want a set with alternative numbers okay like 11 skip 12 then 13 skip 14 and then 15 so we want 11 13 and 15 we need an alternative number so we write it as x square box 0 the first place colon and the last one because we want the entire set to be in this another colon and here this is the deciding factor as I said we need an alternative number so the difference between 13 and 11 is 1 so just type 1 and it will just skip the 12th part and jump to the 13th oh wait a second I'm, I'm extremely sorry for this let me just change it again 0 colon 7 2 yeah I'm sorry 2 2 yeah because it will count this position uh, as 
like one and two okay one and two it will count it that way so there are like two differences so the difference between 13 and 11 is two not one i'm really sorry about that so yeah you got the concept so again uh, this um, yeah this method can be used for a lot of things such as uh, finding out even numbers odd numbers etc etc okay and the last thing that I want to tell you is uh, suppose now we want the set in the reverse order okay we want this entire thing in a reverse order 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 the reverse order so how do we write that we write it as x square bracket We'll put double colon and another thing that you need to remember is as I said uh, Python reads it as 0 1 from this side that is the left side from right side it reads it as minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 there is no 0 okay it starts with minus 1 these two things you need to remember 0 from left and minus 1 from right so we'll write it as minus 1 there you go 17 16 15 and all the way to 11 the reverse order now from the reverse side I if I just wanted these four numbers okay this is the tricky part try to understand what I'm trying to say here okay we want the reverse four numbers so we write it as x square box square box I'm sorry um, square box two colon two colon and then um, minus one okay this is right now in between these two colon we have to write a number we have to write number that that just gives you these two otherwise if we enter we'll just get back the previous result okay and that is what we don't want so uh, you need to again start reading from left side that is 0 1 2 got it so after 2 the 14 starts so just type it as 2 17 16 15 14 okay so now if we wanted 17 16 15 14 and 13 then we'll write it as x square bracket again 2 colon minus 1 and in between this colon you have to write 0 1 okay 0 1 and then 13 starts so just write 1 there you go 17 16 15 14 and 13 so I hope you underst understood this concept Slicing is a simple concept and very powerful one. Imagine the kind of things you can do with it. You can use it for data analysis, for filtering, extracting particular row, columns and many more. So I hope you liked it and I will bring you more such short videos. Cheers!